YouTube, it's me, Jen, your pudgy picker. Got another Monday haul for you. Found some cool stuff, a little bit of weird stuff, and something I have sold before. So, um, did pretty good. Weather's been very cold, but cooperating with as far as the streets being reasonable. So, let's dig right in and show you what I got. I hung this item up because I wanted to show it to you. It, this was a tangled mess, but I could tell it was a quality piece, and it still had the price on it. Not the price, but the tag. It is Woodstock Peace Chime. Um, I don't see an original price. It's from 2015. And then it has this lifetime tuning guarantee, whatever that means. Under here is the price, $5.99 or $3. But... I was very happy with it. It did take a while to untangle, but with the tags and everything, I knew it would be worth it. So that will go out to my booth. Um, I put them up all year round. They seem to do better in the spring and in the fall and summer, of course. But um, I put stuff like this out even in the winter. I know I'm a little late now, but I've previously, uh, just in the last few weeks in December, had sold uh, some wind chimes. So people do buy them for gifts. So you think, oh, who's going to put up a wind chime in the winter? People will still buy them. So I have the room. They're out of the way. So if I had other merchandise that was more pressing, I would bring them back. But they just hang up out of the way, and they do sell. So let's jump right into the rest of the items I got. Uh, these, I believe, are cassette tapes. Century, Peter Jennings, and Todd Brewster. Narrated by Peter Jennings, it's about uh, everything from entertainment to war um, on cassettes. It is sealed. It says, yeah, 15 audio cassettes. And this was only $7 or $3.50, so I will do my research and see how that does. I figured it was worth the, the chance of getting it. Um, this was a really funny item. When I saw this, I'm like, oh, I know what that is. It's, you know, it's a feeder. Um, people do use these for chickens. This one is for birds. I don't know what the difference is. Probably nothing. Wild bird feeder. Then I got looking at it, and it had this. And this is a tag from, I believe, the Home Depot. <laughs> it looks like it was originally 20, and they had marked it down to 4. Somebody bought it and then decided they didn't want it. Kept the tag on. Um, it was marked $5.99 or $3. It is essentially new. So I thought that would do really well. And it's made to look older. And then, of course, it's got this, uh, you know, this to hold it up so I can hang it up. So not too bad. Definitely snapped on that. But I've never seen anything with a Home Depot uh, sticker or price tag before. Um, I did look at the fabric this week. I did pick up three things. Um, I don't usually buy much fabric because I'm still whittling down on all that fabric I got from the auction. If you go back in my archives, you will see I bought 13 milk crates full of fabric. Um, I sat down. It took me several weeks, if not a month, to get it all priced and measured, etc. I have five crates left, and everything, like I said, is priced. So each week I just grab a handful and take it out with me. So that's been uh, very nice to have that on hand. When I get start getting low on fabric, I'm going to have to start scrounging and looking again like I did before. But enjoying the plethora that I got from the auction. This is actually, the bottom one is a stamped burlap. If you go to buy these, like in Joanne Fabrics or any of the stores, they're not cheap. I mean, burlap is a very cheap fabric, but when you buy it at a craft store, it's not cheap. There's probably a good two, three yards to the stamped one, and it was $4.99 or $2.50. This one is just regular burlap. There's probably about two yards there, and that was $2.99 or $1.50. I left it in the bag because if you've ever messed with burlap, it leaves like hair and fuzz everywhere. So I will probably be bundling those up and taking those out to my booth. Um... I got some signs, like I always do. This one is one of those stretched canvas. It says, never stop exploring. I don't remember how much that was. It was $4.99 or $2.50. This one I will put away until next fall. It says, bless the harvest. It's fabric. 
and it was a dollar fifty. Um, this one was also uh, with that the uh, fall one. This is winter, and it's felt, and it says snowmen come and snowmen go, but it's really Frosty who steals the show. Now this is actually coming out of the frame, so we'll have to repair that. But it was two ninety nine as well. Darcy, this or Darice, I always say Darcy, Darice. So this is probably from. We have a craft store called Pat Catans. It's just the cheapy made stuff that they whip out for the holidays, but it is an easy sell. Um, I will put this away again um, till next year, and it'll be ready to go out when the snow starts flying next year. I'm very happy to find this. This is a vintage stationery set. Um, I always pick these up if they are new. This is Whiting's 30 sheets, 20 envelopes. Uh, it does have a barcode, but it is kind of vintagey. It looks kind of 80s to me, and it was only a dollar, still sealed. That will probably go on eBay. Uh, saw this little box. It's a little glass box. It says "Pretty Little Things." I will have to repair the uh, chain uh, came off, so I will fix that. That's no big deal. But that was only two ninety nine or a dollar fifty. This is adorable. This could be hung up. You could use like a suction cup on a window or just have it, you know, sitting on a table like I have it. Uh, it's got a little fake, uh, looks like lavender in there. $1.99. That was very adorable. Or a dollar. This is kind of a novelty item, but I have a little guy's area, so I will put that there. $5.99 or $3. It is a desktop punching bag. The stand is actually a big suction cup. So get those frustrations out. When you're sitting at your desk and you want to punch your boss, you rather punch uh, a punching bag and keep your job, yeah. Uh, let's see, last few items. This sign says, out of all the moms in the world, I'm so glad you are mine. Uh, this was only $2.99 or $1.50. This is adorable. Um, anytime I find these, uh, they do sell. It's a little ceramic pig with wings. He was $2. And he adorable. Um, hang on one second. Okay, sorry about the interruption. The dogs needed to go outside. Um, this is adorable. I have seen this artist before. I don't ever remember seeing cats in the picture, though. It says, that green grass on the other side just looks that way from here. Uh, D. Morgan, 1992. Isn't that adorable? So that was professionally matted. Uh, doesn't have an original price, but it was only a dollar. I like little filler art pieces, and people do like the smaller art. Um, I always have room on my wall to squeeze in another sign or another little framed uh, art picture. And the last item I bought was the last piece of fabric. This is really interesting. I have sold this before. I don't know if it was the exact one, but it was really similar. Um, very patriotic, very 1976. Has the drummer, John Hancock, the bell, the Liberty Bell, the Eagle, all that stuff on it. Declaration of Independence. So uh, I've sold this before. Um, can't remember how much I asked for it. There's at least two to three yards on here. Um, and it was, let me see, it was only $1.99 or a dollar half price. So this will probably go up on eBay. It, I'm not sure what somebody will use this for. Maybe it'll be used for something for, uh, set design or something. You never know. But, as weird and strange and ugly as you think something might be, somebody out there wants it. <laughs> so pef, definitely pick that up. And a dollar, you couldn't hardly beat that. So that is definitely an eBay item. So I hope you enjoyed the haul this week. I know it wasn't really big, but there's always nice things to be had. Uh, kind of a nice variety of things to put away, things to put on eBay, and things to go to my booth. So, yeah. So let me know what you think. Is there anything interesting that you would have picked up? Or is there something I bought that you would have said, no, thank you. <laughs> so I will uh, see you guys next time. Please, in the meantime, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And uh, 
subscribe if you haven't already. Um, working from home today. Also, Mr. Pudgy Picker is working from home today. Mr. Pudgy Picker, say hello. Ah. <laughs> That's all you get. <laughs> okay, I will see you guys next time. And until then, happy picking. Bye.